Starman is a cable operator in Estonia, which has a daughter company in Lithuania, the Seagates. We're operating internet services, uh, interactive TV, TV services, telephony services in both markets. In Estonia, we are running a DOCSIS network, fully homogeneous, with 500 uh, megabits per second the speed available all across the network. In Lithuania, we are using active Ethernet as the base of our network. There are various trends going on uh, on the market. If you look from an internet point of view, uh, we have uh, the trend where the capacity growth is about 50% per year in internet services. And uh, the main challenge for us is that uh, we have to constantly upgrade our networks. And the DOCSIS uh, network upgrade model is, is quite investment heavy. Uh, we need to put uh, a lot of uh, money, in, invest into, into the, that capacity. At the same time, uh, the pricing uh, of those services, uh, our revenue base is not going to grow uh, as, as easily. So it's kind of a, a difficult game with, uh, with the same revenues you need to invest all the time. We started to think about, okay, how can we get out of that vicious circle? And, and we came with an idea that what if we offload the DOCSIS capacity into the PON or passive uh, network so that uh, we could uh, find a better uh, return on those uh, investments into the fiber. And now when we have uh, done an analysis, uh, compared different uh, scenarios, we can say that uh, even uh, converting the brownfield to uh, to PON or to the fiber to the home uh, is something that we can justify financially and, and the return on those investments is, is really good. This is the reason why we have started to look at, uh, at these fiber options because we see that uh, the investment uh, uh, planning for the fiber uh, deployment uh, and the correlation with, uh, with um, business KPIs is somewhat different than in, uh, in the DOCSIS world. When we started to look at, uh, at the options, uh, alternative options for a DOCSIS network, obviously the fiber to the boom emerged as something to see. Now the question is, what is that technology that is going to come? And, and we were visiting different uh, providers. We were meeting them, uh, Chinese providers, Nokia, uh, and, and few others. And eventually we chose Nokia for, for various reasons. And, and one of the key reasons that we were doing it was uh, this 10G um, platform that Nokia is providing is really flexible for the future upgrades. So we can start with a, with a Turbo Epon solution and with a very limited investments, if there is a customer demand, we can easily upgrade those customers to 10G uh, service. So we don't need to do the upfront heavy investments and then it's more or less like pay as you grow type of investment model. And this is actually something that all our type of companies are looking for. Why we choose Nokia as our partner? Obviously, we could have a similar technology from a Chinese vendors uh, with a fraction of the price probably, but the main issue that we saw there was the commitment of Nokia to help us uh, on this project. So that Nokia is not just uh, delivering us the boxes and say, figure it out yourselves, but they come with their own knowledge, with their uh, people, and it's, it's our joint project. So it's not just us launching uh, fiber uh, in Estonia, but it's Nokia and Starman together doing it, and that is very important for us.